What's your business going to look like five years from now? And what kind of innovation do you need to get there to make you successful? There are huge scientific tidal waves that are coming through the system. The advent of nanotechnology, the inclusion of information technology in virtually every product that you can imagine, the understanding of life from the biochemistry of DNA outwards, our future is in technology-based industries. Every three months, we have a new technical innovation. Products are being redesigned. It creates tremendous pressures on manufacturers because if you're not early in, you can't make money. And if you can't make money, you can't stay in business. So in our industry, pure R&D is, is a dead issue. Companies don't have time for loss leaders anymore. Whether it be finding a solution or actually bringing it to marketplace, it all has to be instantaneous. But the challenges of tomorrow continue to mount and, and continue to become more complex. And it does require research for us to get to that next plateau. There was a time when businesses told the engineers what they wanted. Now we're moving into a phase where the engineers tell business what's possible. If we think of the, the Bell Labs of past and the incredible innovation that they drove, I do think there's a, a gap today and a hole to be filled, but I think it's filled in a different way because I don't think we'll ever go back to that era. The future for our companies, both in terms of the innovation and technology and the workers of the future, is almost solely dependent on our relationships with academia and the universities. It will never happen without a, a true partnership together. When we've engaged conversations, and there have been well over 50 of them just in the past two years with business and industry leaders from this region, the single most important issue to them is how do I engage NJIT to work with us? Who's the single point of contact? What's that one door that I knock on? So our response is we're going to create a separate organization. The New Jersey Innovation Institute is absolutely a new model, freestanding in part, connected to the university, a 501c3. It'll have its own president, it'll have its staff, it'll have access to our faculty, to our labs. It'll have a single door that a business industry can knock on. The Innovation Institute is envisioned as a family of Bell Labs, each of our iLabs, providing that sort of intellect and resource for a particular industry sector. We see our initial selection of iLabs focusing on healthcare, the biopharmacy industry, defense and homeland security, civil infrastructure, financial services. I imagine that different companies in different sectors will wish to approach us in different ways. We are certainly expecting to do a great deal of contract technology development, one-on-one -on -one proprietary relations with our client companies. We certainly hope to steer that in such a way that there are also consortial opportunities. Companies with common needs and issues come together and chart out a future from which later on they can all derive an individual and proprietary benefit. There will be testing services, material evaluation services, business studies, market forecasts. These are all the sorts of things that we think are requested and going to be desired from our industrial partners. So you might ask why NJIT? Because it's in our DNA. It's part of our historical culture. NJIT is unique in that its diversity is overwhelming. And with diversity comes diversity of ideas and diversity of thought and ways of collaborating and solving problems. We're very proud of growing our, our research and development budget to $110 million this last year about half of which are programs and projects that will be affiliated with the Innovation Institute when we make the transition. Take a look at our incubators, the EDC, the Enterprise Development Center. Today, we are incubating over 90 companies. Uh, they're doing well over $90 million in business. Being a part of the Enterprise Development Center, my business has gone from making maybe $50,000 to close to $17 million over a 17-year period. I, I think that's just tremendous. I think that the New Jersey Innovation Institute is perfectly timed. This marriage 
is a kind of an intimate relationship between academia and business. As the president of the PSCNG, which is the largest you know, provider of energy in the state of New Jersey, we really look to uh, institutions like the Innovation Institute at NJIT to help us find those solutions for customers. The real promise of this institute is that, that we can start to think, not in an ivory tower, but in a way that connects back to what's possible in business and change the way business operates. It being a, a 501c3 organization, being a nonprofit, and allowing us to bring government, industry, academia together is where we need to be. It also allows a leveraging of investment from those different organizations. It's all about driving economic development. The entire focus of the Institute is on solving the problems that come to us from our industrial customers.